What up, cucks? It's your boy, the hater up in this bitch. And I'm here to talk a little bit about AW and how much they're sucking ass lately. You know what I'm saying? Now, contrary to popular belief, the hater doesn't want AW to fail completely. You know what I mean? Like, I would prefer if AW pushes the envelope and does well so that they can then spurn WWE to do well and vice versa, right? So we can have some good wrestling. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, that's not necessarily the case because... TNA was doing really well back in the day, and WWE was doing its worst, basically, when every pay-per-view was John Cena and Randy Orton, you know what I mean? But despite that, TNA, though they were doing respectable numbers, just couldn't overcome WWE. And back then, TNA was drawing like 2 million people to show. They were pulling in better numbers than Raw is pulling in nowadays, but I digress. Uh, AEW is nowhere near those numbers. They, they can't crack a million from, to save their ass, but it is what it is, right? But the, the problem is with, uh, with AEW... That they can never improve unless they fundamentally change their uh, perspective. The one good thing that AEW has going for it is that they haven't TNA'd it up yet, if you will. They haven't done the TNA treatment, right? They haven't shat the bed to the point where they have to like rebrand or kind of, you know, come out and apologize and say things are going to be different now. They, don't, they haven't done that once yet, which is kind of a testament to both how shitty they are but also to the fact that they haven't completely shat the bed yet, right? What needs to happen is a complete revamp. But the problem is, these revamps often lead to nothing, right? It's kind of like when Samoa Joe went to NXT and he was like, I'm going to change things up here. Change absolutely nothing yet. Zero impact in his time in WWE. Kevin Owens, same thing. He's like, I'm going to bring change. And he had no impact whatsoever, right? Nobody, not one person has the capacity to create change from that perspective, right? From the perspective of a wrestler. But the, obviously, the owners of the company, Tony Khan in this case, he can execute change. And what needs to happen is he needs to release almost everybody that is a former WWE guy, right? Including CM Douche, you know what I'm saying? That piece of crap. CM Punk is like the worst thing to ever happen to wrestling. He's the reason, in my opinion, almost single-handedly, why wrestling is shitty like the way it is nowadays, you know what I mean? He pretty much turned it shitty. More on that in a later video. Cucks, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's get to it, all right? Tony Khan needs to go and he needs to release a variety of wrestlers that have yet to draw a dime in this company. He needs to start out with some people that are actually not that bad, right? Like, in the greater context of things, Swerve Strickland is not that bad, right? Swerve Strickland is better than... I don't know, he's, he's probably better, in my opinion, than Jungle Boy, you know what I mean? There's nothing that Jungle Boy can do that Swerve Strickland can't, right? It's not like Swerve Strickland's worse on the mic or a lesser athlete or anything. Like, there's really no reason, no explanation why Jungle Boy is even pushed the way he is, but it is what it is. He is pushed despite my grievances, right? So he can, but needs to get rid of Swerve Strickland, Keith Lee, get the fuck out, right? He needs to get rid of basically everyone uh, that came from WWE, except for a few people. The few people that he needs to keep are John Moxley, who, for, for better or for worse, is kind of a draw. And he is almost like an AW original, right? He didn't, like, go there after failing in WWE. He left WWE, and then he joined AW when they started. So him being there, I think, is perfectly fine. They need to fire his wife, Renee Young, Renee Paquette, immediately. I do not know of anyone in the history of wrestling that has had more success with such little talent than Renee Paquette. She has brought absolutely nothing to wrestling. All she's done is take a lot of money from WWE and TNA. I mean, and AW. I always confuse it with TNA because they're both shit. But she's just taking money. She hasn't done anything. I remember when they made her like an announcer and people were pretending that she was good. And they're like, oh, she replaced Booker T. She really understands wrestling. Booker T, well, she, Booker T forgot more about wrestling in, since I started this video than Renee will ever know about wrestling. So get the fuck out of here, you motherfucks. But anyways, get rid of Renee Paquette. Get rid of basically everyone that hasn't done anything in a while. Yeah, I hate to say it. Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Christian, who I love. Get rid of them. They're not bringing anything in, right? Big Show, Mark Henry, just taking a paycheck for no reason. Get rid of them. I mean, maybe keep Matt Hardy and Christian just to, if you want to have like two reliable guys. But, you know, realistically, I'd like to see them go back to WWE sooner rather than later. But, you know, that's not here or there. The facts are what the facts are, okay? They need to get rid of almost everybody. I would keep a few low-level low WWE guys, right? Like Tony Nese. You know what I'm saying? Keep him. 
key people like that, right? And then what they need to do is basically do with their company what they've been doing with the tag team division. The, one of the good things about AEW is the tag team division. Because except for the Young Bucks and the Lucha Bros, which are boring and repetitive, right? There's a lot of good tag teams, right? And what do these tag teams have in common? Except for Swerve in our glory. None of them, none of these tag teams are WWE tag teams. They're homegrown tag teams. Private Party, Butcher and Blade, Cux, Dark Order even to a certain extent, right? Fucking, uh, what are they acclaimed, right? And my favorite tag team right now, the Guns. I really like the Guns. You know what I mean? They, they should be tag team champions, right? Forget about FTR and these people that are just draining your coffers, right? You need, motherfuckers, you need to save money. They need to go and find the next AJ Styles. Find the next Christopher Daniels, right? Go find someone in the indies and push them the way that TNA pushed AJ Styles, right? AJ Styles would not be in WWE. He would not be a former WWE champion if he, had, if he was not significant in, in a TNA, right? Nobody gave a damn about him going to Japan. And quite frankly, he wouldn't have gone to Japan if he wasn't a TNA legend, right? TNA is where he made his name. It's where he had his best matches. Well, most of his best matches. He has a pretty good ones in WWE. I do have to say so myself, cucks. They need to get rid of anyone that's foreign, right? Foreign in wrestling means bigger paycheck, right? Like, you know, fucking uh, Ray Phoenix, you know, even though he's a good one, he probably demands a bigger paycheck than, let's say, I don't know, fucking uh, Nathan Frazier does in NXT, right? He demands a bigger paycheck because he's an international name. Get rid of all the international names, all the foreign people, and hire local dudes, right? You can find some good ones. Find people with good acting skills. And then build the company, pick five people, right? And build the company around them. Now, they're trying to do this with people like MJF and, you know, fucking Jungle Boy. But let's be real. They're both boring. Nobody cares about them. Sammy Guevara, keep him around, obviously. Darby Allen, if you can keep him around, keep him around too. Get rid of Sting immediately. You know what I'm saying? Just get rid of Sting immediately. He's not adding any value whatsoever to this company. Keep Jericho because at this point he's an AW original. You know what I'm saying? And then get rid of Jack Swagger. Get rid of, like, uh, Santana and Ortiz. Get rid of everybody that's made their name elsewhere. And then just start rebranding and saying, you know, we've screwed up. We've given a chance to a lot of people that couldn't cut it in the other company and that couldn't cut it here either. We're talking about, and just name them, just name drop and bury these motherfuckers completely. We're talking about Keith Lee, who achieved nothing over there and achieved nothing here. Just hire, this has to be Tony Khan. Hire like a Paul Heyman-esque general manager type who cuts his promo, right? Hire fucking Jim Cornette and have him do it. You know what I'm saying? Have him be like, I'm done with this bullshit. I'm done with Kenny Omega. I'm done with these jobbers, right? We're going to actually have some good booking, some good wrestling, and some good talent, right? And then over time, over time, with their money, they can grow some talent. Sign them to long-term contracts, right? Pay them well, you know? And you, they can afford to pay them well because now you don't have to pay Mark Henry and Keith Lee. You know what I mean? Push people like Powerhouse Hobbs to the moon. Push people like Ricky Starks. Push people like Hook, if you have to, I guess. Push people that are only known because of AW. You know what I'm saying? Will Hobbs is like the, the perfect example. Will Hobbs should be the AW champion already. You know what I mean? He is a legit as homegrown as it gets. He's believable. He's charismatic in his own way. He's got star potential. You know what I mean? Like, he's never going to be the face of WWE or anything like that. But he's got potential to be like a, like a Sheamus. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and to have a Sheamus in AW would be like insane, right? Then, after you've reestablished yourself as this kind of company, then when there is a legitimate uh, free agent who's good, like when Seth Rollins' contract expires, then you hire someone like Seth Rollins, right? When he's in his prime or whatever, right? Then maybe you try to bring back Cucky Rhodes if you can. You know what I mean? You have to build your company around a few known talents, but these known talents cannot be overshadowed by WWE jobbers. And that is the biggest problem that AEW has had. You know, you have people like the Young Bucks, who many consider to be the best tag team, right? Then all of a sudden, they hire FTR. And before you know it, FTR is the best tag team in the world. But wait a second, wasn't FTR getting jobbed out to the Usos after the Usos put itch spray in their pants? That's, I'm supposed to believe that that tag team is on par with the Young Bucks, who you are presenting as literally the best tag team of all time? Get the fuck out of here. That's the problem with AW. They do not know how to book long term. Their booking is basically like, all right, we're going to push Adam Page. He's going to be champion for a couple of weeks. 
and then he's going to be gone for a while, and then he's going to be back and have a meaningless feud with John Moxley, who's already relevant, right? No, you need to establish your stars as stars. They need to be consistently there, and their title runs need to be impactful. Everyone here has forgotten the Kenny Omega title run. It was lackluster, it was boring, and everyone couldn't wait for Adam Page to get his moment. And then everyone forgot Adam Page's uh, title run because nobody gave a damn for real about Adam Page. You need people to care about your wrestlers, right? You can't put the belt on MJF who is definitely going to leave. Like his character is that he's going to leave, motherfucks. This guy's character literally is, I don't respect this company enough to be loyal and I'm going to go to WWE when the bidding war starts. WWE's going to give him like 300k a year. It's not even worth that, but that's as much as they're going to give his ass. Right? What other options does he have? He could be, he could be an AW, which by, by 2024 will be like drawing 600,000 people if they're lucky. You know what I mean? So that's what I got to say about that. Cuts. The point is, in order for wrestling to get good again, we have to start from the ground up. We cannot consistently try to make Miro happen. Miro is never going to happen. He's not entertaining enough. We need entertaining people. Now, I know what you're thinking. There are no entertaining people. Yes, there are, motherfucks. Yes, there are. All over the indie scene, there are entertaining people. Go and find them. And more on that later. Cut, Colts.